the one who can provide. And I've been there before, depending on a master who only wanted to kill, steal, and destroy a boy claimed man that took from me instead of gave. A boy who enjoyed building a boy who enjoyed building me up into this beautiful woman, but left me out to dry in shame. And that's all I saw when I looked in the mirror. His rejection was my reflection always. My need for him made me his slave. And maybe I'm mean and hard because I want a nice and gracious master. A man who will work with me and for me. A master who loves me and holds me, stares at me just to adore me. A master who loves to fill my needs. A master who loves, loves me. And love is a choice on the part of the giver. It should, it should not, oops, it should have nothing to do with what I can or cannot do, but with the love that the giver has to give of himself, because without him I got nothing. So if it's based on what I can do, I never will have anything, but thank God for Jesus who still bought the wedding ring and who took the place of my master and turned around and served me. When I couldn't look at my ugliness, he wore it and washed it, making it white as snow. He laid with me daily, whispering softly, making love with me in, a in his deathbed full of rose petals on his feet and thorns on his head. As he made love for the world, he died for it. It's the deepest level of intimacy anyone can ever have, and I vow to never go back again. See, I have a man, and I never need another, but his love makes me love these brothers, and not with the world's way, but the way that leads to life. So call me what you want, but no, I gotta do that old because that's gonna be tough. So call me what you want, but know this: he calls this black girl bride. Thank you. Yes. Struggling with me. Okay. I see you on the chair. Okay.